Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss how to deal with a corrupt firmware installation on your Linmod drive. The firmware can become corrupted through an interrupted or incomplete firmware installation. Some signs that you might have corrupt firmware on your drive are an invalid firmware message in Linmod Talk, the drive remaining in the firmware stopped state, like mine is here, despite attempts to reboot the drive using the green play button at the top of the screen in Linmot Talk, and a lack of communication over RS-232. If you're not seeing any communication over RS-232, consult our other tutorial on logging in over RS-232 before proceeding through the steps outlined in this video. Also make sure that your connection to the drive is sound and that the bootstrap switch which is equipped on some drives and used during initial factory setup is switched to off. Consult your drive's installation guide for more information. If you're having any of these problems, the first thing to try is to power cycle the drive before closing and reopening Linmot Talk and attempting to log in again. Sometimes something as simple as a restart can address these issues. If the problem is not resolved by a restart, Linmod Talk has a few other tools you can use to recover from a corrupt firmware installation. These are outlined in Linmod Talk's documentation in the manual section. The first of these troubleshooting steps we're going to discuss is the stop firmware script, as this does not reset the parameters on the drive to their factory defaults. To run the stop firmware script, log out of the drive, and then make sure that the 24 volt logic supply is powered off. Next, navigate to File, Install Firmware, select Stop Firmware, and make sure that the correct COM port is selected. Be ready to switch on the 24 volt power supply within two seconds of clicking OK. If you see the firmware successfully stop message, you can attempt to log into the drive once more. In this case, I was able to log into the drive successfully, but if you're still having problems, there are a few other things you can try. The manual I mentioned earlier also contains instructions on defaulting the parameters in the drive, even without the use of Linmot Talk. This can be done using the switches on the drive. Consult this document for more information for your specific drive type. If you are able to log into the drive with Linmot Talk but are unable to start the firmware, you can also default the parameters using the DEF button in Linmot Talk. Once the parameters have been defaulted, attempt to log in and start the drive's firmware again. If the issues persist, you can attempt to reinstall firmware on the drive. We have a separate tutorial on installing firmware which should be consulted before proceeding. Improperly performed firmware installation can cause further issues with the drive's firmware. Please note that firmware installation can take several minutes. If you see that the installation of firmware has been successfully completed, attempt to log into the drive again and start the firmware. If firmware installation does not complete successfully, but your drive is running firmware version 6.8 or newer, you can take advantage of the drive's ROS or Remnant operating system, which is only installed once and is left intact during firmware installation. It is therefore preserved in the event of corrupted firmware. Please note that this feature is only available in Linmot Talk version 6.8 and newer. You can use the Wait ROS script to use the ROS to recover the drive. To do this, log out of the drive and make sure that the 24 volt power supply is powered off, similar to the Stop Firmware script. Next, navigate to File, Install Firmware, OS, and select the Wait ROS script. Make sure that the correct COM port is selected and power on the drive's 24 volt logic supply within two seconds of clicking OK. 
If you see that the ROS has been successfully started, you can attempt to install firmware again. The wait ROS script ensures that a corrupt firmware installation does not get in the way of a fresh one. The process for installing firmware will be the same as before. Once again, make sure that there are no interruptions to the firmware installation, as this can cause a corrupt installation. After the firmware installation is complete, try to log into your drive once again. If you are still having issues with the firmware on your drive, contact the party through whom you purchased your drive or Linmot directly for support. Thanks for watching.